in this video we will be learning about various statistical analysis using excel so let's get started i'll be using the same file where i stopped in the last video these are my five extracted numerical columns from my original data set and let's say i want to perform some sort of activities here i want to perform some correlation function activities i want to find whether there is a linear relationship between each and every column now logically if i have five columns i will be able to plot 10 plots 10 graphs let's say a scatter plot between a and b a and c a d a e b c b d b e c d c e and d e there are 10 possible outcomes so we'll get started with it we'll start with credit score and age i'll go to insert i'll go to recommended chart and click on this one and this is my credit score and age similarly i will do it for credit score and tenure insert recommended chart scatter plots so like this similarly i will also do it for credit score and balance insert scatter plots you can see that to accomplish this task to analyze different numerical columns I need 10 charts. So when your data increases, let's say you have hundreds of columns, you can imagine how many graphs there will be. So it is visually very difficult for us to identify where there is a pattern, where there is a numerical relationship between multiple columns. Now in this example, if I talk about this graph, I can barely see a slight linear relationship between your credit score and age. That means when your credit score is increasing, your age is also increasing. To guarantee that, to identify the relationship, we can call our correlation function on A and B, which basically states that there is a positive correlation, 0.35. Similarly, we'll do with, with uh, tenure and credit score. Correlation of credit score and tenure. And you can see there is a slightly negative correlation. That means when your tenure is increasing, your credit score is decreasing and vice versa. Now, these things are possible because we are dealing with five columns. So it's quite easy to identify all these patterns. How can we do it when we have multiple columns? Or else, how can we create a chart like a correlation chart? In Python, our life was so easy. We just have to call our pandas library and then read our data frame. Let's say pd.readcsv from my file name and then call our df.core. It basically gives all your correlation between your multiple numerical columns. And if you want to visualize it, you can just import your seaborn and call your seaborn.heatmap and pass your df.correlation life was so easy can we do these things in excel well your answer is going to be yes so in this video we will be learning about all these statistical analysis which can be done in excel so i'm deleting all these charts and to enable your data analysis tab basically you have to go to your data column you can see in the data tab at the end there will be a data analysis here it is not visible right now I'm sure it won't be visible for you as well. To enable it, you can go to File, go to Options, go to Add-ins, Manage Excel Add-ins, click on Go. And here in the Add-in section, I can see four options. Analysis Tool Pack, which basically states that provides data analysis tools for statistical and engineering analysis. We have analysis tool pack for BBA, for Euro currency tools, solver add-in, and in some of the cases, you might be able to see some other options as well. I will be enabling this analysis tool pack and immediately once I click on OK, I will be able to see a data analysis section on the top. I click on OK and you can see my data analysis is active right now. Data analysis tools, it's nothing but tools for financial and scientific data analysis. Now I'll quickly click on my data analysis to see what are the different options available. 
now i can see oh my god there are so many options anova single factor anova two factor anova two factor without replication correlation covariance descriptive statistics so a lot of things which are actually possible in python are also possible in excel you can easily explore each one of them it's going to be super simple to explore to be very honest let's say you want to find uh we'll talk about the correlation okay i'll click on correlation even if you don't know anything about what values to pass you can easily identify input range it's asking for a input range so i will be asking i will be selecting all this range so you can see from dollar a1 till dollar e21 so all the data is selected and i know that my first row is a header so i will click labels in first row and then output options output range new worksheet new workbook uh, i will select new worksheet click on okay and you can see that the correlation will be built in couple of seconds it usually doesn't take that much of time but uh, we we can just wait for one more minute and our correlation will be done now you can see my correlation is done and it is open in a new tab in a new worksheet and you can see everything is built here I hope everybody knows about correlation. If you don't know, then you can probably check out all these things. How to find correlation? Heat map. The way we used to do in Python. What is a heat map? It has all the values in your x-axis and the same values with your y-axis, right? These are your diagonal values. That means diagonally your value has to be one, which means credit score with credit score. The correlation is one. age with age the correlation is 1 age with credit score the correlation is 0.35 if you want to validate these things you can simply select on let's say i will just copy this one and take it to the here let's say this is my final output simple you want to validate these numbers whether these numbers are correct or not these are nothing but correlation between credit score and age you can see this number and this number are matching you want to validate something else estimated salary with age i will do correlation correlation age with estimated salary and this is minus 0. Point, minus 0.13 so this is the way how you create your correlation function now you don't have to create your scatter plots or create your correlation function again and again it basically states a lot of things right and here you identify that these are these are your highest values right so age and credit score is positively correlated and similarly your tenure and credit score is negatively correlated right all these things are possible now we'll check on some other parameters like other data analysis options as i told you there are multiple things descriptive statistics let's say i want to find the descriptive statistics of my table labels in first row create a new worksheet and here what do i need i need summary statistics and i want okay let's say only summary statistics once i click on okay my new worksheet will be opened and here we go for credit score the mean value is 606 if you want you can just validate it let's say we will validate it for the estimated salary so i will just copy paste this one estimated salary to my this column and here i will have it okay we cannot copy paste it so let's say i will just copy mean value is 831172 so let's say i want to calculate average of estimated salary sorry average of i have to select this one 83172 and here also you can see 83172 so 
so all these things are perfectly done and these are some of the ways how you can do your data analysis in excel very simple to do you just have to explore some options let's say i'll click on data analysis and i want to do a rank and percentile let's say i'll select this one labels in first row click on okay and you can see that my percentile values are done my estimated salary which is the highest is basically my 100 percentile 94 the ranking systems are done so these are various ways to deal with your data analysis in excel i hope this class was very informative and i hope you got some ideas about how to perform data analysis activities using excel so that's it you can explore the other options as well i'm sure you will love it because it's super simple to understand the concepts but if you want to understand what exactly is f test what exactly is anova those things will not be covered in this class you probably have to go through the statistics lectures and try to understand these topics once you know if you are concerned about how to apply ANOVA in Excel, those things, you can easily take help of these concepts. But to understand the basics behind the, the terminologies, what is ANOVA, what is correlation, what is covariance, you probably have to go through the statistics classes. That's it for this video. In the next classes, we'll be coming up with some other topics. Thank you.